31 minutes. That's how long it appears to have taken for police to arrive on the tragic scene. Dispatchers had been alerted to a round of shots that had been fired thanks to a high tech gunshot detection system. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into the delay and she joins us now. Megan. Right, Joe and Erica, we've done extensive research on the shot spotter system, extensive reporting, although the company recently changed its name to Sound Thinking. And one of the biggest selling points is just how fast it alerts police to the sound of gunfire, often faster than a 911 caller. So we wanted to know why did it take more than 30 minutes for them to get to the scene? Shot spotter is picking up nine rounds at 8157 South Blackstone Avenue. Going to be in the south side of the house. That's the alert we're talking about. Sensors picked up the sound of gunfire at 8157 South Blackstone around 1:42 a.m., according to a CBS2 investigator's analysis of dispatch recordings from that morning. But we don't hear any discussion of an officer being assigned to investigate. Shortly after 2 a.m., Officer Ariana Preston's Apple Watch appears to have identified that she was in distress and alerted 911. Eight one five five Blackstone Apple Watch. So within 12 meters, there's no callback. According to Apple, if the watch detects a severe crash, it will display an alert and can initiate an emergency phone call after 20 seconds. The dispatcher notes that it's the same time and address of the earlier shot spotter alert. There was a shot spotter out there around the same time, 8157 Blackstone. By 2.15 a.m., the call for 10-1, officer needs assistance, comes in. I have emergency, emergency. 495, four go ahead. 80 person in Blackstone, we got a person shot, it's an off-duty PO. Get an ambulance here now. Why did it take so long and could things have turned out differently if officers had reached Officer Preston sooner? The city's going to have to look into this, uh, but those things do happen uh, on a constant basis throughout our city um, and we have to correct those issues. Former OEMC 911 dispatcher Keith Thornton is well aware of what the timeline should look like. He answered countless 10-1 calls, including the call for Officer Ella French. In this case, he says the shot spotter alert should have been treated as a priority one call per OEMC protocols. This is straight from my protocols. That should be dispatched immediately. Within 10 minutes, according to the written protocol. It's unclear if an earlier response could have changed the outcome in this case, but Thornton says it needs to be investigated. Something was flawed in the system and it needs to be corrected. Now, we did reach out to CPD and OEMC for comment or any explanation for the delay. CPD said they're not going to comment at this time. A spokesperson for OEMC also said they're going to refrain from commenting, quote, due to the ongoing CPD investigation. Now, we do have a number of records requests out on this to try to pinpoint that timeline. We will, of course, keep following up. Live at the 5th District Police Station, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Thank you, Megan.